Good morning. How are you doing this morning? This is Keith Neal, your creativity coach for Morning Cup of Keith. Here's my cup. And um, today I want to just continue the Common Fears series and just talk about how you may have fears of feeling like you're not going to be good enough. I'm just going to take a quick sip here. So, when it comes to not, not you know, you're an entrepreneur, you're definitely going to be in a competitive market. Um, but then you may, may have self-doubt, inadequacy feelings, anxiety, deep-seated concern, not feeling like you're going to be skilled enough and not confident in your own service. Look at, <clears throat> focus on your talents and skills. So what do you have to offer? I mean, you started this journey and found what you want to be doing, but you may look at other people at the competition and may think that um, they're stacking up better than you. Take that fear, put off the side, focusing on that your skill, that your products, whatever your whatever products or service that you're doing is going to be the top notch is the, is going to be the best. And when it's, it's good to be in, in competition with other people, because you know that that service is a needed service. If you go aiming for a service that is outside of that, you know, of, of being competitive, like you're the only one out there that means that the public doesn't need or want that service. And that might feed your fears too. <clears throat> and rather than banking on just your product, even though you want your product to be the best and you want to be able to, no matter, even if it's higher priced, you want it to be the best and, and, uh, and be able to out compete other businesses. But the biggest skill, the biggest, um, the biggest thing you want to be able to do at, at the um, the upper level for you is to focus on not your products, but focus on you as a business person, as you being the the face, the frontliner of your business, and what can you offer? that other people may be lacking. Great example is there's <clears throat> there's a lot a, of um, businesses out there that have just awful customer service, awful. And um, they have, you can go in there and you could probably see some great products, but they're not selling, they're not taking care of your need, taking care of like your care. So a great example, let's say you go to a grocery store and the cashiers are just snobby, they're jerks. Um, they'll be, whenever you're trying to find somebody to help you, they run away from you visibly. Or you could go to a, a store I've gone to before called Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's, oh my gosh, <clears throat> they won me over. Um, they have some things that are a little pricey, um, not too bad. But uh, for the most part, they have just great quality food. And their service is above and beyond. And they miss you when you they haven't seen you in a while. They say that. <laughs> and they're just, they're so wonderful and kind. Do that. And that's going to be a great way to, to shake off your fears is when you can just go out and be above and beyond. Focus on your talents, your skills, your service. And, you know, you can work towards that product, but don't let that product be your focus <clears throat> on don't let it identify you let you identify your product say like, this is who you are people love who you are and oh here's these products attached to you and that's a, that's a way to get over that common fear all right thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video